energy forecast for September 2024. So on September 1st, we are wasting no time in true Virgo fashion. We have two back-to-back -back astro shifts taking place that will definitely rattle us to our core. This is going to be something that we're going to be working on for the essential last part of 2024. So the first energy shift that we got going on is Uranus. Uranus is the great awakener. He likes to shake things up. He likes to kind of throw lightning bolts of epiphanies, of awarenesses to us. He is where it is that we have to align ourselves with a new level of awareness, a new level of consciousness. Now, Uranus is going retrograde, okay? So the inward turn of energy is now going to have us looking inside of ourselves. Uranus retrograding at 27 degrees, 15 minutes in Taurus energy is going to shake up our physical realms for the foreseeable future in order for us to realize where it is that we're overly attached to people, places, and things that essentially are preventing us from moving on. So let's break it down. First of all, I want you to think back to the full moon in Aquarius that we just had. Uranus ruled over that full moon in Aquarius, and it just happened to pop off at 27 degrees, 15 minutes. So something that happened, an epiphany, a level of awareness, an unexpected event, something happened around that full moon in Aquarius that now Uranus is going to spend the remainder of 2024 trying to break us away from the physical aspects in our physical realm that are preventing us from aligning with a new path, new goal, new vision. Let's put it to you this way. The new version of self that we've been anchoring in that is getting a little bit more comfortable. We're still existing in the realm and reality that the old version of self had created. The new level of awareness, the new vision of the goal, the vision, the dream that, of course, we want to be working towards that we should have realized under the full moon in Aquarius. Now Uranus is going to be destabilizing our physical realms to illuminate where it is that we have a death grip on trying to keep things the same when realistically we need to put those things to bed. We have to provide an ending, a closure of finality to those particular aspects in order for us to move on. So before I get into the nitty gritty of it, Uranus entered this pre-retrograde shadow period, May 15th of 2024. So yes, because he's a older planet, a slow moving planet, the pre and post retrograde period much longer. Okay. So here on September 1st, we are turning retrograde. So again, the energy that Uranus usually has to influence our external realm, to create an awakening, to create a spontaneous change, to create these unexpected events for us to reach new levels of awareness. Now the energy is being turned inwards. We will see Uranus go direct January 30th of 2025, and he will leave his post-retrograde shadow period May 17th of 2025. So yes, that is a huge time frame, but typically speaking, the major shakeups, the major wake-ups, if you will, happen around the point where Uranus goes retrograde, which would be now, and where he goes direct, which of course is going to be at the end of January. So here's the thing. We have a desire to make some serious changes in our lives. We are under the influence of Virgo season. We know where the problematic areas of our lives are. We know where there's room for improvement, especially when it comes to our mental plane, because what we believe in, what we give time, energy, and focus to, what we spend our energetic attention on is what we create. We have a desire to change, but here's the thing. There are certain aspects that are holding us back from pivoting and actually moving on. Uranus is encouraging a spontaneous pivot into living a little bit more authentically, trusting our higher selves just a little bit more than our ego selves. Now, typically speaking, Uranus, when in a direct position, has us a little bit rebellious, has us a little bit, let's say, out in the world fighting back. 
Now inwardly, we're fighting ourselves. We have to be illuminated to where it is that parts of self, whether, whether probably the old version of self, still alive and well, preventing us with old ass narratives, with old belief systems, with old fears, doubts, and insecurities, preventing us from making the changes that we know that we need to make. And so, yeah, this is going to be a challenge because Uranus, which is a lightning bolt of energy coming down from the cosmos, from the higher realms of intelligence, striking those lightning bolts into the physical form, Taurus energy, the physical earth, mother earth herself, there's going to be major shakeups and wakeups. Now, in the physicality of the earth, probably going to be a lot of lightning storms, probably going to be some severe and hugely significant earthquakes. Okay. Not trying to fear monger, just trying to say what happens when you send huge amounts of electricity down from the cosmos and it hits earth. Well, it cracks earth open. It shakes earth up. And again, mother earth is going through her own ascension process. We are merely the quote unquote parasites feeding off of mother earth at this time, which means that what happens to her is happening to us in our own individual realm. Taurus energy is our self worth. It is the way that we feel about ourselves. The energy exchange that we have with the relationship with thyself sets the tone for all the relationship dynamics that we have outside of us. In the physical realm, monetary currency reigns supreme. In the spiritual realm, of course, it's energy that is the currency. So how we feel about ourselves, A, opens up opportunities for growth, opportunities for wealth, for health, for happiness. This Taurus energy is going to be rattling our self-worth because a lot of the hangups that we have, a lot of the reasons of why we are blocking ourselves is because we don't feel that we deserve the goal, the vision, the dream that we're trying to conjure up. We have to do work on that. We also in this Taurus energy are going to see our routines get disrupted. Why? Because Taurus energy is a fixed sign. We enjoy the same old, same old so much so that we don't even recognize that it now has become a prison. It is holding us back. It is keeping us contained and restricted from making the changes that we know that we need to make. Taurus energy is about resources, agriculture, monetary resources, the whole financial system. Yep, that's right. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. Financial system on the greater grander stage is going to see a major disruption. We are going to see our relationships disrupted. Why? Because we give too much of our power away. We are so attached to other people. We are so connected to them that we suffocate our own wants, needs, and desires just to maintain the relationship dynamic. There is going to be a major disruption in your physical realm where relationships are concerned, especially if they're not a vibratory match to encourage and support you to move on, to move forward. They will be removed out of your lives. If you haven't listened to the September energy forecast as of yet, heads up, we have eclipse season coming at us in the karmic energy of Pisces. We are talking about major releases, major endings, major closer, closures where soul contracts, karmic contracts are concerned. This Taurus energy is going to shake up our own individual finances, our own resources. We are going to be illuminated to where it is that we're overly attached to physical things, possessions. This is a great time to declutter. This is a great time to realize where it is that we need to pivot, but what is actually holding us back, back from making said pivot. Again, we have to align with the new level of awareness, a new level of consciousness. That's what Uranus is all about. Okay, so that covers Uranus. Again, if you don't have your Virgo season e-guide available, I'm going to recommend that you download it. We really want to capture what's going on here because these topics and themes are going to get played out and played through and then revisited once we move back into that direct position in 2025. So the second thing that we have going on here on the first is Pluto. Pluto the great transformer himself. And let me just be very clear. Pluto transforms by the death and destruction of the old in order for there to be a clean slate provided for a renewal, a resurrection, a rebirth, if you will, of our soul and spirit. It's very empowering, but we have to do the shadow work, especially on the psyche where programming and conditioning is concerned. 
That is how a true transformation takes place. I'm going to welcome you to think about the transition that the caterpillar goes through in order to become a butterfly. He literally isolates himself in a cocoon, okay, where he dissolves himself into a pile of goo that cannot feel good, okay, in order to transform him into a new skeletal structure that is the butterfly. That butterfly is all wrapped up in that cocoon. He has no clue what the F is going on to him. And then all of a sudden he breaks out of that cocoon and holy crap, I just grew wings. I have no clue how to fly. I have been an earth crawler my whole life. But now I have a new level of awareness. I have a new perspective. I have a new consciousness. Now that I'm able to flap my wings and see things from a different perspective. This is what we all go through. So Pluto, he's been retrograde, but he's been retrograde in the Aquarius energy, highlighting the power struggle within. We have a vision, we have a goal, we have a dream for the future, but the power struggle between the old version of self and the new version of self is alive and well. The power struggle between the egoic narrative and our souls, let's call it dialogue, totally different. This is a power struggle to see whether or not we are bold and brave and courageous enough to do the shadow work, to unearth the darkest parts of self, to change, transform, and transmute that pain into a source of power. Again, the Aquarius energy is consciousness, is awareness, is understanding that everything is connected, especially where the inner dialogue of the programming, the conditioning of our early childhood has been set in our psyche. We have to do a deep dive to unpack, to unearth, to change, to transform into the butterflies that we were all meant to be. Okay, so Pluto, he's still retrograde, but he's creeping back into Capricorn energy. He will be sitting at the 29th, critical crisis karmic degree of Capricorn energy who is karmic in nature because Saturn rules over Capricorn energy for the last and final time. So we have been working on this whole Pluto and Capricorn energy since 2008. That was the deconstruction of the power in society and in your own individual lives, likely where it is that you've given your power away likely to a system, to a person, to a relationship, to a job, whatever the case may be, the power struggle is very real. This is the last time that we, humanity, in our existence, will see Pluto in Capricorn energy. Again, this is like fighting the final boss of the video game, and this is going to be a doozy. So again, if you haven't getting your Virgo season e-guide in front of you. You should, you're going to want to capture this particular energy. We are going to be tapping into this energy until November. Now, Capricorn energy, let's talk about it. We've been doing this back and forth, this back and forth, this back and forth. Just, you know, heads up. We entered into the Aquarius energy March 23rd, 2023. We've been doing this back and forth, cha-cha-cha, for a very long time since then, okay? We dip back into the Capricorn energy, then we go direct, we move into the Aquarius energy, we go retrograde, we come back in this Aquarius energy, and now we're creeping back into this Capricorn energy. So this is going to be quite a doozy. I'm not going to say that it's not. We are again at the final ending chapter of a very long drawn out chapter in order for us to empower ourselves, in order for us to boss up, in order for us to change our pain and trauma, transmute it, transform it into a source of power that can work for us instead of having that pain and trauma work against us. Now, Capricorn energy is, you know, an earth energy. It's a cardinal earth energy, which means that we have to initiate a new path, a new direction in our physical environment. It is structure, the structure, the foundation of our physical realm. Again, side note, we're living, this new version of self is living in the existence of the old realm, the old reality that the old version of self has built. That's why we have to continue to deconstruct, to release, to purge, to remove the old, to free up the space for us to build something new. When Pluto returns to Aquarius energy in November and sets up there permanently until 2044, that is returning the power back to the people. Right now, on the collective stage, we are destabilizing, dethroning the quote-unquote 
top of the pyramid type of people, right? We are realizing that they have too much power. The power needs to be returned to the people. What do we need to do? We need to destabilize the banking system, the government, politics, the healthcare system, agriculture, every single system that has tainted humanity has got to be flipped over on its side. We have to build something better. And because Aquarius energy rules over the collective, rules over society, rules over, you know, the betterment of where it is that we've been, it's like we're moving out of the Stone Ages here in the Capricorn energy and moving into the new age in Aquarius energy. But there's still some remnants of the old realm and reality left. This is the fight that we've been trying to break away from at least, yes, since 2008, but the last, I'm going to say four years, which will take you back to the quote unquote pandemic, that was the pivot point of the total deconstruction, the dethroning of the elites, the dethroning of the people in power in order for us to restructure society and put the power back into the people for us to be sovereign, for us to have rulership and power over ourselves, standing in our new version of self. This is why 2024 has been a test. This is why we have to bring the creator force energies online because it is up to us moving into the next three to six years. And again, if you don't know what happens in three years and you don't know what happens in six years, I really recommend you to do your research, okay? We are prepping and preparing for the last part of this quote unquote spiritual war. This is a big deal. OK, so Pluto retrograding going to sit at that 29 critical crisis degree. We are fighting the bad guy. We are having the last hurrah from now until November. It's a very big deal. It is going to change the trajectory of where it is that we plan to go from here. The goals, the ambitions that we have, the wisdom that we've accumulated. Now it all has to be wrapped up. We have to walk to walk and talk to talk and really really show not only ourselves, but the universe that we have what it takes to be our own sovereign beings, to restore the power back to our own individual soul and spirit, and to not allow other people to have the power and control over us any longer. So again, that may manifest in, in different aspects in your own individual life, but collectively we know damn well where this particular energy is taking place. So the interesting factor is, is that Uranus is retrograde in a fixed earth sign. Pluto is retrograding in a cardinal earth sign. So a fixed sign means that we've been too fixated on keeping things the same. Again, Taurus energy, why we have to be illuminated of where our attachments are that are essentially preventing us from moving on and moving forward. And Pluto over here in a cardinal earth energy showing us where it is that a major, major pivot needs to take place in order for us to initiate a new path to deconstruct the old systems and structures, the old power struggles to free us, liberate us, to build something new in the place of the things that were merely keeping us imprisoned. So I don't know about y'all. But that sounds like a doozy. It sounds like a very, very important transit that is going to set the tone for the foreseeable future. And may I also remind you that we are also in the new moon Virgo window. The new moon in Virgo popping off on the second. That will be the next astro forecast. But let me just say that confusion, destabilization, major, major triggers and activations will be popping off because the Virgo energy, we have to focus on the problem in order to fix it. And the problem right now, earth energy, earth energy, earth energy is our physical realms.